Hello Reds and welcome back to LFC Prime Fans with me Calvin, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, just a short video um, on how uh, a few of the Reds have got on in international duty. It was just friendly games that have happened last night and day before. Uh, but we've got the actual World Cup qualifiers happening uh, either tomorrow or Sunday and it's going into uh, Monday, Tuesday next week. Uh, England play Slovakia. You haven't seen that video already. My thoughts on it. Go check it out. Um, Slovakia v England. Thoughts. Um, the video I'm going to do today is just. It's just not going to be the most interesting video in the world. It's just how some of the Reds got on, who's missed out, and stuff. So I've got here official from the Liverpool FC uh, website. Uh, Divock Origi was named in the uh, starting uh, lineup for Belgium's game. Uh, you know, it found the international match against Spain um, the other day. Uh, they lost, um, what was it? They lost 2 0, and David Silva scored for City, uh, from City. From City. Uh, and it was Roberto Martinez's, I think, the, the, um, I think it was his first game, I don't know, but Ever ex Everton manager uh, Martinez, whatever his name is, um, uh, was his, uh, his new manager of Belgium. So he lost. No surprise, because when is it Everton? <laughs> just saying. Um, 4-0. Just want to put it out there. Um, Divo Carigi uh, played, but he didn't score. But, I, you know, he's a fantastic player. And you know how much I hate internationals. You know, they should have them away from the Premier League season because they're just interfering and they're going to get too tired, the players and stuff. You know, they're going to their country or to other countries to play other countries. And it, it's annoying. It's annoying, so... Divo Origi played, but unfortunately didn't get on the score sheet. Uh, but a player who did get, a red, who did get on the uh, score sheet was Wijnaldum, our newest signing. Uh, played for Holland in their 2-1 defeat to Greece. So they've not really started off, well, you know, it's a friendly. Uh, but yeah it, was, yeah, it was in Holland. Um, obviously, didn't, it was a shock for them not qualify for the Euros um, this year. That was a shock. Uh, but I'm sure it's it's hard, you know, they've got to really up the game if they want to qualify for the World Cup 2018. And because they are still a big, big country, a big team. And it was such a shock to see them not even qualify for Euros. And I, I think they will qualify. They get the right formation, right tactics, the players and stuff. And probably the right manager. I don't know who they've got as manager, but I hope they do qualify. Uh, but why Adam did score in the first half. Um... I think it was when it was 1-0 and uh, then Greece came back with two goals. So then they lost, but, you know, uh, but it's great to see one Allen score, which is absolutely fantastic because um, he's, he's, he's a class player, Wan Adam, and he has started all right in the right position. Klopp's put him in the right position. Didn't he's on, After the three games, uh, league games for Liverpool, Premier League games, um, he's done one assist. He's, he's a class player and... I really think he'll be a big hit at Anfield. He's showing it and um, he's going to prove the critics wrong. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to you know see him if I go to Anfield and see him play. Uh, so next one we've got uh, Emre Chan, But he didn't fe fe feature in um, this game. And he didn't feature in the Spurs game, the last league game. But he still got picked um, for uh, G Germany's uh, fixture against Finland, which won 2-0. So yeah, he didn't get picked... Um, for the Spurs because he was injured, he didn't play in the uh, the game against Spurs in the league. Uh, so I was pretty, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, he got picked for um, uh, Germany unless he was picked before the Spurs game. I don't know, but uh, he didn't feature in that game. And they've got Norway on Tuesday, which is a World Cup qualifier, I presume. Yeah, it's World Cup qualifier uh, next week, uh, so they should win that. Um, he suffered the ankle injury, uh, Emre, Emre Chan. Um, against uh, Burton Albion in the uh, EFL Cup in our 5 0 win. And uh, the next one we got is the Estonian captain, plays Liverpool, um, Ragnar uh, Plavin. He uh, missed out too. You know, he signed with a draw. I mean, not for you, just like that, but I mean, as, you know, they were draw to, uh, drew to uh, Malta. In, the, in a friendly. But it's hoping to return to action soon. I mean, I'll talk about uh, Plavin just quickly. I mean, I, he, his time at Liverpool, he's been, 
50 50. We're not seeing much of him, not seeing much of him. I know we've seen him around this pre season, uh, and I know he was won that much. Was he about three or four million, something like that, from uh, Augsburg, something like that? It's all right. Is he meant to be just like Colo Torre, a backup, something like that? And I mean, Sacco's not left. I love Sacco. Um, Klopp doesn't particularly like him. I don't know if it's just to do with this thing when they're in America, Alcatraz and all that shit. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there was talk about him going on loan to Sunderland. What a weird move. Uh, Sunderland would have liked that. He's a class defender. I do rate um, Sacco class, you know, set pieces, heading them in. Uh, especially in that game against Dortmund. Um, what a game. That's the game to remember. But I'll tell you something. I... Um, it's it's hard to say, and I hope Sacco does get, um, you know, given more chance the first team. I hope Klopp doesn't fall out with him altogether because I know he's missed his chance now, and I hope he doesn't just drop him out for good and that's it, or get rid of him in the January transfer. Because I look, I, I think it's amazing Sacco, and I want him to stay at Anfield this season and however long. You know what I mean? Because he he's a good defender. He's an absolute good defender. I hope him and Klopp can work things out, and you know, I want to see him start. Against Leicester next week, I want him. I think it's going to be Lovin and Matty. Probably is. So it's going to be Lovin and Sacco. And I mean, I I, I want to see him them both work things out, move on, and just you know apologise and all that, and just move on, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's that's everything, guys. Wijnaldum, Origi, Emma Chan, and Clavin. Uh, the international news, and we have got. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's tomorrow, or Sunday. I can't remember. I don't really care. But I mean. Uh, all the internationals happening. You got like Denmark playing. You got like obviously England and stuff. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know, we got Switzerland v Portugal. I think I think it's gonna be alright. You know what I mean? See how uh, everyone does and all that. Aladice's first England game and uh, Antonio as well. Which is gonna be interesting as well. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this video. I know it's a short video, not particularly that interesting, but I hope you did enjoy it. So please give this video a like. Please share. Uh, please comment and uh, most of all, please subscribe. And I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, let's try and hit a target. Don't have to, but we can try 70, just 70. I've uh, got about 62 subscribers, I think. If we can try and hit 70 subscribers before uh, next week, before the Liverpool Leicester game, uh, not a week tomorrow, should we say. So, not tomorrow, but the week after. If we can hit 70 subscribers, that'd be absolutely absolutely awesome and i really would appreciate that but anyway guys have a great day whatever time it is in your country or have a great whatever have a great weekend most of all <laughs> and i should see you guys next video bye bye hello followers welcome back to lfc pro fans with me calvin i completely forgot to um add this into the video uh just quickly that for belgium as i said origi was uh picked and he was picked um over uh, Roberto Martinez's old, uh, you know, player from his time at Everton, uh, Romelu Lukaku, which was a shock, but I'm glad he picked Origi, obviously. But I mean, he, he, you know, with him being, you would have thought, you know what I mean? But he picked a Liverpool player over an Everton player when he was the old ex Everton manager. I mean, how weird is that? I mean, uh, that's a bit awkward, if you know what I mean. For, you know what I mean? Wow. And, um, but yeah. I read you deserves it. Uh, but I forgot to add as well that Fili Felipe Coutinho also played. Uh, completely forgot about this. I noticed this online actually, but that um, played for Brazil obviously and uh, helped them seal their World Cup qualifier win against um, Ecuador. So uh, Coutinho uh, played. I don't know if he scored. I didn't say anything here about him scoring, but he probably did. Uh, but he said that it made a huge difference when he came on onto the pitch so he probably was on the bench and it came on so it probably was nil nil and they won some was it three nil something like that but wow so just a quick video i could have had this on um we'll see but i might add this as a separate video but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video see you next video peace